Welcome to this yoga loft practice. My name is Jessica and today we're going to be focusing on a quick practice for your hips, hamstrings, and glutes. So if that sounds good to you, go ahead and come to the front of your mat, starting in Tadasana, our mountain pose. We'll just take a moment here, finding our stability, finding our balance. So you may just want to move around a little bit, shifting the weight on your feet, forward and back, from side to side. On your next breath in, you're going to raise your arms up towards the sky. And as you exhale, you're going to open up through the arms, swan dive down, bend from those hips, hands come to the floor. Feel free to keep a bend in the knees here as we're just warming up the body, shifting the weight from side to side a little bit as you get a little bit of stretch through the legs. Inhale, come halfway up, and exhale, release the hands back down. Inhale, half lift, flat back, exhale down. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale down. Bring that left foot far back behind you as we find a low lunge here. And you're welcome to stay here or you can drop that back knee down and then lift up. We'll do that two more times. This is hurting your knee, definitely just hold the lunge. Good. release the knee down and then bring both knees together as we come to a tabletop position from here we'll find a few cat cow movements inhaling as you arch the back look up and exhale as you round through the spine chin in towards the chest go at your own pace link the movement to your breath extending up with that left leg bending the knee we're going to pulse that leg up and down a few times we do some glute exercises here so if you want to keep track of how many you're doing at each side, that's great. Go ahead and bring that left foot forward now. Tuck the toes of the back leg. Drop the knee down if it feels okay for you. You can do it a couple more times. We're going to hold the lunge. And drop that right knee down. Both knees come back together. And now we're gonna work our glutes on the other side. So lifting up the leg, pulsing it up and down. Both knees come down. You can find child's pose here if you'd like, or you can find downward facing dog. So lifting up through the hips, finding that length through the spine, and then feel free to just walk your legs out a little bit here. Really getting a nice stretch through the hamstrings. Pressing into the knuckles of the fingers. And go ahead and walk your feet forward as we return to a forward fold. Place the hands to the shins, lengthen through the spine, flat back. Release the hands down, swoop the arms up, and then we're going to sink back with the hips as we bend the knees, arms stay up, we find our chair pose here. Engaging those inner thighs, and straightening up, coming to standing. Take a breath. Little rest for the legs. Let's lift up with the arms once again and fold forward. Bring that left foot back behind you. Lift up with the arms, finding a lunge once again. You can drop the back knee down only if that feels okay for the back knee. If it's causing irritation, then just hold the lunge. Release the hands down and bring that right foot back behind you as you find a downward facing dog once again, walking the feet out, stretching through the legs, shift the body forward into a plank and then into downward facing dog. Inhale, move forward into plank nice and slowly and exhale downward facing dog. Inhale forward and exhale back. Lift up with the left leg bring that left foot in between the hands 
finding our lunge, lifting up with the arms, keep the sides of the waist nice and long, drop the back knee down only if that feels okay for the knee. Hold the lunge. Hands come down, right foot meets with the left. We halfway left here. Release down. And swooping those arms up, we'll once again move into our chair pose. Try to keep the length through the spine here. And then straightening back up to standing. Lift up the heels and then down, lift up and down. We'll do this a few more times. Work in the backs of the legs here. Up and down. Now rotate your toes in, your heels out, and we'll do the same thing where we just lift up and down. If you tighten through the glutes, you're gonna feel this even more. If you find that you have a little bit of a hard time balancing, you can always use a wall for support. Now widen your toes away from each other, heels together, and lift up and down a few times. Hold. And release. Shake out the legs a little bit. Take a breath. 